uh, going into Athens second Olympics we had just an amazing amazing crew and I'm talking here about shore boat speed but I'm talking about people mm -hmm. too mm -hmm. and anyway so what what the general public would have seen and it was all over the Australian media media is they would have seen um, an Australian women's aide that I was in competing in the final of the Athens Olympics they would have seen the Australian eight come flying out of the start and being up there in medal contention until about halfway through the, the race. And then they would have seen, it's much easier to talk from a third party perspective, yes. <laughs> they would have seen yes. someone in the boat stop rowing and lay down as a result of that. And then our boat came um, sixth in the final, which was the last place in the final because we were rowing for the second half of the race with um, I think about six people because one of them was laying down then others around her couldn't couldn't row. So that was one thing. This is one part of it is there's mm -hmm. this, you know, many of us eight, ten years towards this race and this this thing happens and we're trying to get our head around all of that. There's that one piece of this moment. The other piece of this moment, which I had no uh, um, anticipation of, was the media response to this. And our crew were, oh look, I, 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 I'm going to say, front, it felt like front page of every newspaper. I know it was international as well, but from a national perspective, in every state for a number of weeks, hmm. um, dishonest stories, narratives around, you know, the girl that stopped rowing was a bad person to the team are awful people to they're a bad team, right through to the Prime Minister of Australia saying that we were un-Australian. 